Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, and in fact, we are actually looking, for the second time this week, at another Phoenix Industries mod, as well as a mod inspired by the movie The Martian, this time being Phoenix Industries Ares Rover, which of course is being made by forum user CTN, and what this glorious little piece of work is looking to add into the game is, well, well, the Ares rover, which you may remember about a month ago, we actually looked at another Ares rover, and I really did like that thing, but I had a couple of major issues with it. And so when I saw that uh, CTN was making his own version, and in fact, as of the time of recording this, came out like five or six hours ago, so pretty new out there. I was excited to see what the difference might be with this one, and if I liked it any more or less, and I gotta say, I think this one's the winner in my mind. So let's jump right on into the space plane hangar and have a look at the couple of parts which make up this mod. I believe at the moment only four parts, but all very good. Of course, the first thing we're going to need here is the Ares Rover cockpit, which we actually have to rotate the wrong way. There we go. We have this lovely little Ares cockpit, which is the first of the parts compared to the previous Ares rover we looked at that I like more. The previous one we had a look at was a bit longer, it was a bit slightly more rounded, and it was kind of trying to go for a more movie-like feel, whereas this one is definitely going for the more stock-alike feel for Kerbal Space Program, which I always prefer. It's a bit more angular, a bit shorter, all of things that I actually really like about this particular one. Now, as for it as a cockpit, it is a one-person command pod requiring 4.8 electric charge per minute. It does have its own built-in lights, SAS, and 50 electric charge, and you may notice this lovely thing here. Another reason why I like this one is it's compatible with the Kerbal inventory system. So we actually do have a Kerbal inventory system inventory right here, which can hold 4,000 liters, and yeah, that's that's just great. I love anything that's compatible with the Kerbal Inventory System because it's one of those mods I always have installed, so it's just a wonderful plus. Now, of course, we also do have some lovely built-in lights on the front, which are always handy to have, and yeah, that is the cockpit for this particular rover. And so the next part, we are going to have to go down to Structural 4, and that is going to be the Ares Rover flatbed. Now this one right here, we have two different ones, but this one is the primary flatbed, and something I'm quite happy about this particular rover compared to the other Ares Rover we looked at is the fact that the attachment point actually makes sense. Now on the previous rover, it was like way up here, and you actually had to manually attach the flatbed to the cockpit, which could be a bit finicky. Uh, this one, though, it snaps right into place, so you're good to go. You don't have to worry about anything. And again, it has that more stock-alike feel, which is very cool. And you may notice we've got these little containers going off of each side, and that's because this flatbed also has its own inventory of 2,000 liters. And I, oh, again, I absolutely love that. That is just cool that we have extra Kerbal Inventory System space, because you can never have too much of that. Now, the next flatbed, unfortunately, has a problem with it. Now, it is, of course, supposed to be attached to the back here, and just like with the other rover we looked at, it doesn't have an attachment point for this one, but where this particular Ares rover falls short, unfortunately, is that it really has no trailer hitch. If you remember in the previous one, we had actually a trailer hitch part that you connected to the main flatbed and it then connected to the trailer. Now it was a little bit finicky to get working. You actually had to go out into the world, uh, detach a little separator, then back into the trailer to get it to attach. But still, it actually made for a semi-real trailer hitch. This one, on the other hand, is literally just that flat piece of metal that you see right there, and you just connect it, and that's it. 
I'm I'm a little bit saddened by that. I was hoping for a proper trailer hitch like in the other one. So that is one of my downsides for this. But if we go into utility tab, we will find the last piece, which is of course the Ares Rover battery, which will produce a six electric charge per second and will hold for thousand electric charge. And again, a very well-made part that brings me back to loving this thing, because, oh, look at the detailing on that thing. That is, I think, my favorite part about this one over the other Ares rover, is just the level of detail added to it, I think, is much higher on the modeling and the texturing. There are still some things to work on with it. For instance, the cockpit still does not have an IVA, uh, but that is something that is being worked on, so hopefully that will come soon enough. For now, it just uses a uh, stock lander can internal view, so at least has a placeholder, so hopefully that'll change in the future. But overall, it is a pretty glorious little thing. Now, sadly, Another negative to it is it doesn't have its own wheels. Again, I think that's something that's being worked on. So for now, you just have to use whatever wheel you desire from the stock game or, of course, any other mods that you have installed. So that is a small thing. But overall, I actually think I much prefer this Ares Rover because of its look, its design to it. It's much more stock alike. And of course, the really, really big plus, that Kerbal inventory space. Oh, I just love that. It's wonderful. So let's exit out of the space plane hangar, because, well, that's really all we can look at there. And let's have a gander at this thing. There we go. We loaded back. And then, of course, to my Ares rover. How is the sun doing? Let's fast forward a little bit so we get a bit more in the sunlight. Come on. Come on. And that should be good right about there. And let's just go to fly where I've got this thing stationed on top of a hill so you can see it in action. Now, here we are, our lovely little Ares rover. And as I said, it's using just sort of the stock lander can internal, which isn't bad, but hopefully a custom one will come down the pipeline, which would be quite good now. We just need to get this thing moving. Let's turn off the brakes. And actually, what the heck, we'll turn on the lights even though we don't need them. There we go, lighting our way, which, again, during daytime, not exactly necessary. Turn off our UI and just get to work. And here we are. We have ourselves a lovely Ares rover with inventory space and, of course, plenty of trailer space for you to attach any other Kerbal inventory containers you may need or any science equipment, etc. Always a good thing. And yeah, it's, it's overall a very, very nice rover. Again, I wish that it had a proper trailer hitch. I wish it did have its own wheels. But overall, I really do prefer this one over the other because of its look, its feel, and of course that glorious inventory space. But yeah, that's really all I have for this particular mod. Not a whole lot to show you, because uh, it is just a rover after all. <laughs> we could drive around for a while, but that wouldn't exactly add to the mod review, now would it? Uh, but yes, if you would like to try this out for yourself, you can always check the link in the description. And I definitely would say to give it a go, as it is a pretty nice little rover, and who doesn't like stuff from The Martian? It's a good movie. And this game needs even more parts inspired by it. But that is, of course, going to be all for this particular episode. I hope you have enjoyed. And, of course, that you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for... Oh, God, I flipped it. Of course, of course, right at the end, I'm going to flip the thing. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed that you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, don't drive like me. <laughs> Later, folks.